Hello everybody. Have you ever been on an airplane during a strong side wind or during a storm or when one of the engines stops working? Yeah, it's not the best thing that can happen to you. I hope you never have to live through something like this. However, if during a trip something does happen to the aircraft, the pilot has to make an effort and demonstrate his abilities to balance the plane and land the aircraft without killing people. In this video, we're going to show you the 10 most extreme landings that fortunately ended well. Are you ready to fly at thousands of feet above the Earth? Then let's get it on. Landing on the Hudson River It may sound incredible, but sometimes the presence of a duck or other bird is enough to cause an air crash, although this happens very rarely. The passengers on the New York-Seattle flight enjoyed an emergency landing on the Hudson River after their Airbus A320 was attacked by a gang of geese. One minute after takeoff, passengers noticed flames coming out of the engines. The geese were fried in the engines, ruining them. The aircraft captain informed the air traffic controller of the accident and issued an alarm signal. But in a matter of seconds, he realized he couldn't keep the plane in the air or fly back to the runway. Although very risky, the only option to save the crew and the 150 passengers was to land on the Hudson River, and so he did. The incredible professional maneuver was a success. The passengers, alive but frightened, went out through the wings of the floating plane and waited for the lifeguards. Homeless Plane To experience an extreme sensation is very easy. Simply go to any amusement park. But we're sure you've never seen anything like this. The passengers of this Boeing 737 had to descend from a height of 7,300 meters in a plane without a roof, with the wind in their faces at a speed of 330 miles per hour. The short flight between the Hawaiian cities of Ilo and Honolulu should take about 35 minutes. However, 23 minutes after the plane reached the required altitude, a strong decompression took place, and as a result, the roof over the first six rows and the pilot's door flew out. The passengers found themselves in the open sky at a temperature of 45 degrees below zero. Can you imagine? Fortunately, they didn't have time to unbuckle their belts, which saved their lives. Although the flight attendants who were delivering the first drinks took the worst part, the captain of the plane began an extreme descent to a height of 3,000 meters at a speed of more than 310 miles per hour. In 11 minutes, he landed the plane with just the right engine. Fortunately, the crew and the passengers survived and left the plane in one piece. Landing on the beach What do you usually do on the beach? You surely rest and enjoy the silence and tranquility, except on Maho Beach on the island of San Martin. This beach is located next to an international airport. Airplanes fly so low that drafts blow you up and local authorities always warn beach visitors. The Princess Juliana International Airport has a very short takeoff runway of 2,180 meters, so the planes have to take off and land at a low altitude. Sometimes they pass about 10 meters above the ground, causing tourists to raise their heads and take photos and videos of the aircraft. Takeoffs and landings near populated areas are very dangerous, as no one knows what can happen on the next landing. And you, could you relax with planes passing over your head every minute? Noseless Plane This is a story about real heroes. On July 27, 2017, Ukrainian pilot Alexander Akapov landed a Turkish airline plane at Ataturk Airport in Istanbul in an incredible way. The plane, with a Ukrainian crew on board, left from Istanbul to Aircan in northern Cyprus. At a height of 4,000 feet, the hail broke the front of the plane and the window in the cockpit. The captain decided to return. There were 121 passengers and six crew members on board. The Ukrainian pilots and two Turkish flight attendants showed their courage during the incident. The captain managed to land the plane practically blindly, looking out at the side window. Unbelievable! When he landed, the airport welcomed him with a round of applause. The pilots of other planes greeted him with their lights or approached him to shake his hand. We believe that this action deserves respect. Pilot on board It is difficult to find a person who's mounted on the roof of an airplane, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. In 1990, Tim Lancaster, a pilot with more than 11,000 hours of experience, was flying an aircraft from the UK to Spain. At 7.20, the plane left Birmingham Airport for the peninsula. In 13 minutes, the plane reached a height of 16,400 feet, and the captain calmly loosened his seatbelt. But suddenly, 
there was a crash and the captain's windshield flew away. And so did the captain. Fortunately, his feet got trapped in the cockpit while his body was stuck to the fuselage by the wind. The crew members grabbed the captain with both hands so as to not drop him. The co-pilot began an urgent descent and issued an alarm signal. And so they flew to the nearest airport so they could land. Tim, frozen and with several fractures in his arms but alive, received help and five months later returned to the air. Passengers and crew had to experience this incredible adventure because of the mechanic who changed the windows on the plane the day before. He placed the glass with the wrong screws. The error was one millimeter in diameter. But well, fortunately they all came out alive. We can say that even Hollywood's riskiest doubles wouldn't dare do something like that. Smoke Cloud this Boeing 747 was making a long flight from London to Auckland, New Zealand, with several stops, India, Malaysia, and Australia. But a few minutes after taking off from Kuala Lumpur Airport, something sinister happened inside the plane. Suddenly, the interior of the plane was filled with smoke, and the pilot's windows were covered with flashing sparks. This phenomenon is known among pilots as San Telmo Fire, and can be seen in the wings during storms. But this time, there were no storms in sight. Afterwards, a bright white light took over the entire plane, and the passengers saw flames coming out of all four engines. Everyone was horrified as the engines had stopped working. The co-pilot and the crew tried to restart them, but they were unsuccessful. Many were already waiting for death, but a miracle happened. At an altitude of 13,500 feet, the fourth engine started, and then the other three. The plane managed to reach Jakarta Airport and land. The 248 passengers and 15 crew members landed safely on the island, where a volcano had just exploded. In fact, the incident was caused by a cloud of volcanic ash that affected the plane. Gimli Glider Gimli Glider is the name of an Air Canada Boeing 767 that once performed an impressive landing. The 132-ton aircraft with engines that weren't working was able to descend from 40,000 feet and land at the abandoned Gimli base during a car race. This is already quite incredible, but the situation was even more complicated by the lack of power because almost all the lights were turned off. In addition, the pressure in the hydraulic system was so low that the pilots could hardly move the ailerons and the steering wheels, but the crew did their best and no one got hurt. The reason behind the incident was a mistake by Ottawa airport workers who confused kilograms and pounds. Picture this, instead of 20 tons of kerosene, the plane received only 5 tons. But the crew got out of the situation alive because one of the pilots knew about the existence of an abandoned airbase. Lucky bastards. Somewhere in Siberia on the 7th of September 2010, a Tu-154B plane from the Russian company Al Rosa landed deep in the depths of the forests of Siberia while flying from Yakutia to Moscow. What's so interesting about it? Well, what happened was that after three and a half hours of travel, there was a total power failure on board the plane. Most of the instruments were turned off. Fuel pumps stopped and it became impossible to control the wings mechanically. The additional fuselage tank had enough fuel for 30 minutes of travel. Descending to an altitude of 1,000 feet, the pilots began to search for an ideal place to land this huge 80-ton plane, and they found it. It was a cement airstrip known as Ishma, albeit quite small, just 4,430 feet long. The pilots managed to land the uncontrollable plane but failed to brake on the runway, and the Tu-154B crashed into the trees, but it all ended well. None of the 72 passengers or nine crew members were injured. Defective Chassis How would you react if someone told you that the plane you're on board has a defective chassis that won't open? We'd suffer a lot during the landing, and I guess that's what the passengers on this commercial flight to Astana, capital of Kazakhstan, felt. On board were 116 passengers and five crew members. For unknown reasons, the front of the chassis didn't open completely, and the pilot had to make the decision to land without the front wheels. The plane landed with its nose and passed over the landing strip by 100 feet, but fortunately without major damage. Fortunately, none of the passengers or crew members were affected. The pilot deserves a round of applause and congratulations on this maneuver. Hurricane Landing during a storm is one of the least pleasant situations for a commercial aircraft. Unfortunately, this plane flying to Hamburg had to do so. Everything seemed to be under control, but the powerful winds caused by Hurricane Emma, with speeds of up to 75 miles per hour, 
pulled the plane out of its course. Despite the difficulties, the reckless pilot was determined to land his plane. However, when the plane hit the ground, the strong winds tipped the plane, and at a speed of 150 miles per hour, the left wing hit the runway. Fortunately, the pilot was able to align the plane, but the aircraft didn't want to break and was going to leave the runway, so the pilot had to react. The crew decided then to take off again, and finally, a tragedy was averted. After a flight around the airport, the plane landed successfully, despite serious damage to its wing. If you've got some exciting stories about flying, tell us in the comments. And if you think that pilots are all professionals, give us a like. If you haven't checked Jelly Gummy Bear's channel yet, you should do it right away. You'll certainly like all the funny experiments with the Jelly Bear, cool life hacks, awesome homemade stuff, and exciting adventures that are waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.